Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We got for you something uh, off the beaten path. Uh, got in the mail probably a couple, almost a few weeks ago at this point uh, from the Dr. Kaz the Third himself. Some flesh and blood cards. Now, Flesh and Blood is a pretty uh, new game. Came out last year. You guys have heard about it. Uh, I know Clever Magic Trevor has talked about it a lot. But uh, I did promise Dr. Kaz I would go over some of the cards in my collection, which aren't actually that many. But first, let's uh, see what he sent. We got ourselves Throttle. Locked and loaded. The Achilles Accelerator. Teclo Plasma Pistol. And Dash, Inventor Extraordinaire which is actually the flip for the young dash. So, Flesh and Blood has like a commander-esque type style where you have the hero as a core uh, combated on the field and you play cards that either directly affect them, either give them attack boosts or defense. There's equipment that you can put on there at the start of the game, similar to like the, uh, the Plasma Pistol here, which is also a flip card as well. Got the young hero, Kano, who is a wizard. Uh, Dash here is the, what is this, Mechonologist. Mechonologist? We'll go with that. So, uh, again, uh, you know, Dr. Kaz, thank you for sending these out. This is super cool. I like the top hat on this guy a whole lot. Um, I have not gotten to actually play this game yet. I have been slowly collecting some stuff, but not uh, gotten any solid core gameplay down. Um, cards I do have. We got uh, Ketsu the Wanderer. Got a little sleeve here. We got Dranitha. I about probably said that wrong, but Iron Song. So really cool foil heroes. I think we got, uh, no, not, not flips. Some of these heroes are flip cards and they have like their younger version on the back, which is kind of cool. I uh, didn't realize until I dug through here, I did have a Plasma Pistol, but this is the cold foil Promo edition. So if you guys can kind of see on that shine there, that's the cold foiling that a lot of people have been talking about. We got the Nebula Blade. Yeah, uh, these are not foil, but it looks like uh, extended art in the, uh, the back here. Maybe there's something uh, something else going on with. Yeah, some of these like you look at throttle. Art ends at the text box. This one has it extended. So Voltic Bolt, over the loop. Reduce to Rune Champ. That's pretty gnarly. I have like dark artwork right there. And uh, Sikkim Shot. Okay. Some Archer stuff going on here. I like that. It's pretty cool. Again, I, I've only seen these a couple of times. I, I got the promos and uh, they got shuffled away into our little box here. And then finally, I know I've shown these off way, way long ago in a box uh, from Rudy. But a couple of promos, we got the Energy Potion, Potion of Strength, the Time Snap Potion, sounds like it's up my alley, and Gear Bananas! <laughs> Adorable little stuff, like these are the cold foils, and then the, uh, the bananas, looks like it's the regular kind of rainbow foiling. So that's something really unique with Flesh and Blood is their cold foiling, even though with Commander Legends around the corner, they have the etched foiling, which I've heard is very similar to the cold foiling. So as far as singles in Flesh and Blood, that's all I got. That's it. Like I said, I haven't gotten to actually sit down and play the game. I originally bought into it thinking I was going to do so with my D&D group because this sounded like it was right up their alley. It's very uh, dungeon crawler, Diablo-esque uh, feel to it. But I do have the uh, Crimson Haze. Like these, I guess, promo decks. We got the cool little uh, storage box that came with uh, one of the kits I bought. Back that open, nice little storage containment. Nothing too special there. As far as what I'm actually sitting on, got this nice little playmat. Is these pretty puppies? As I said, I bought. Probably the three uh, promo kits from Rudy, which come with the intro starter deck brick and the boxes from the three main sets. 
So, I've got the Welcome to Wrath, Arcane Rising, and Crucible of Worlds. Again, when I originally bought all this, I'm thinking I'm going to open this up and get to draft with some friends and learn how to play this game. And that really didn't happen. For two reasons. One, the most obvious is because of the pandemic, the lockdown. It just wasn't wise to have a bunch of friends over and learning a new card game. Hopefully when everything calms down a little bit here in the near future, we can get into that. The other reason I have not cracked these open on the channel is uh, this pretty puppy. Last I saw, it's going for about $1,000 a box. Like, what? <laughs> That's insane. I would have never expected that, but again, it, it all ties to that cold foiling. You got uh, Arcane Signet, or Arcane, yeah, Arcane Signet from uh, from Flesh and Blood. Arcane Rising is last I saw is like two to three hundred dollars a box. So it's really hard to to want to crack these open when they're worth so much. So this might be my sealed product collection that I have going in the future, but. Um, yeah, I definitely want to get some of the unlimited edition of the the first set here and crack that open and have fun with it. And, um, you know, like I said, I, I was gearing up to start doing some live commander gameplay, live uh, flesh and blood gameplay, hopefully some other type of board games. But uh, the table I bought for all that is uh, more of a storage uh, table and has doubled as arts and crafts. So there's that. There's the nice Crucible Worlds playmat, but like I said, I've been buying the, the Rudy uh, collectors, the, 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 the kits and all that, so I have, huzzah, King Rudy himself, as I bump the camera. <sighs> Gorgeous. So, like I said, uh, Clever Magic Trevor, he has talked about this game a lot more. He's gotten to play, so I definitely suggest going over to his channel, checking out some of his... Uh, fireside chats, uh, you got more intel on the gameplay and, and what's going on. It sounds really fun. Uh, I can't wait to crack them open, but it's going to be something farther in the future. <sighs> uh, again, I got a lot going on with Magic the Gathering. It's going to be the main thing I'm doing. We're gearing up for the 31 days of Christmas, which is right around the corner. We're almost like halfway through November at this point. Um, so. That's really where a lot of my focus, a lot of my energy is, is getting that video together. I got a couple other side things I'm doing, but um, with that, we are going to start off a new little segment. Um, this is actually more a additional giveaway item for the 31 Days of Christmas video. I call it the Stockpile Stocking. And what we're going to do with that little cutie is we are going to shuffle up one of the colored stacks of cards that I have sitting around in what has become more a cube looking container than anything else. But we're gonna pick a card and we're gonna put that into the stocking. And uh, hopefully here in a month, I'll have uh, a good handful of cards to give away to one lucky winner. So our first card going into the stocking, it's gonna be, ooh, look at that, Outlaw's Merriment, nice little mythic. What we're gonna do with this is I will pick the card, it's gonna go in there, and we will not recap these cards until we reopen this for 31 days of Christmas. But again, good big shout out to Clever Magic Trevor and the Clever Magic community. They have been super fun to watch and I love all the content they've been pumping out. So thank you guys, it's been awesome. I'm looking forward to your video for the 31 days of Christmas. But let's get back to the usual rotation and roll, and if you are sticking around and, and watching the end of the video here, let's give away some cards. It's been a minute since we did a, a real Mandillum. I know, a, a, a video about flesh and blood, and we're giving away magic cards. Totally makes sense. So, for this little uh, real Mandillum giveaway, we're gonna go a one, a two, a three. And three we're giving away, and Guys, I know if you don't remember, it's, it's been a while. I need you to like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the video. And you will enter to win. Look at that, a grim poppet. Ooh, the binding blade. Uh -huh. And trap jaw tyrants. Nice. Like, what's it? Two mythics? All right, that's a pretty god set right there. Now, 
Got one final thing I want to talk about because we, again, I mentioned we were halfway through November at this point, and that means we are coming up super close, not only to the 31 days of Christmas, but to the next rib game. That's right. Got the Patreon exclusive rib game that I've done. Ch check that little card that just popped up. That'll just take you back to the last game that we did and uh, give you a good rundown of what's going on with it if you're not familiar. But with the rib game, each tier has special abilities. And as I've talked about before, those special abilities, those tiers will level up every 25 patrons we get. So I'm going to try and make a little push here to get our first level up. So once we reach 25 patrons, I'm going to be giving away this beautiful Double Masters Worm Coil Engine Box Topper. Little is three dollars to get in for a tier one. You get entered to win to that, and not only that, but you're rolling in the rib binder for just insane amounts of cards. So again, check out that last video. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment to get there. Check out that entry below in the sea of links to enter into the 31 days of Christmas. And thank you guys again. I will see you in the next video. We are around the corner here. I'm going to get into some set boosters. Oh, yeah. Right before we hit Commander Legends and go absolutely nuts. See you next time.